most jobs out there. This isn't one of them. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kino Training Systems. Uh, today we are going to be doing a sample question from the ASVAB, which is the Arm Services Vocational Aptitude Test Battery. And this particular testing area is in the area of mechanical comprehension. The paragraph above reads, Mechanical Comprehension Test, the Understanding of Principles of Mechanical Devices, Structural Support, and properties of materials. Mechanical comprehension topics include simple machines, compound machines, mechanical motion, and fluid dynamics. So this would be in the area of a simple machine. All right? And the question is asking us, what simple machine magnifies the effort when the handle of this corkscrew is pulled up? So we have a bottle here and we have something you would find in your kitchen uh, which is just a corkscrew a simple machine um, and in your kitchen there are uh, tons and tons of uh, simple machines that we don't even know but our selections or answers are a lever a screw a wheel or a wedge now I know that this is probably one of the most complicated and uh, I guess misunderstood areas. So what I've done is I've taken the liberty of first defining what a machine is. A machine is a noun and it's an apparatus consisting of interrelated parts with separate functions used in the performance of some kind of work. In our example is a sewing machine. The second uh, definition is a mechanical apparatus or mechanism. Contravance? Contravance? <laughs> I've never seen that word before in my life, so that's why I kind of paused and jumped to mechanism, but it's a mechanical apparatus or con contrivance. Contravance or contrivance. We'll look that up later and we'll get back to you. Uh, and it goes into mechanics, which would be the study of machines, but they are simple, simple machines and there are complex machines and if we look in here oh wow we got a couple of our um, definitions in here lever screw wheel wedge Let's see what we got here so uh, what do we have here lever is one wheel is one screw and wedge so all of these are simple machines all these but which one is our simple machine so let's take a look a lever or lever is a rigid bar resting on a pivot used to, used to help move a heavy or firmly fixed load with one end with pressure when pressure is applied at the other. All right, so we're uh, applying pressure on one end and we're moving a heavy or firmly fixed load. That's our lever or lever. A screw, a short slender, sharp pointed metal pen with a raised helical thread running around it and a slotted head. Used to join things together by being rotated so that it pierces wood or other material and is held tightly in place. So that's our screw, the second machine. The third machine comes from our third definition, the wheel comes from Wikipedia. The other two were dictionary.com. Sorry about that. Let's give them their credit. A wheel is a circular component that is intended to rotate and on an axle or bearing, the wheel is one of the main comp the, the, mill is, the wheel is one of the main components of the wheel and axle, which is one of the blah 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 bicycle wheel. Okay, it's safe to say I don't think we have a wheel in our um, description. And a wedge. Finally, a piece of wood or metal or some other material having one thick end and one tapering to a thin edge that is driven between two objects or parts of an object to secure or separate them. So I don't think that anything is securing or separating. So I think it's safe to say that we could go with the lever or lever because um, 
It is, we have a rigid bar resting on a pivot used to help move a firmly or fixed load with one end, hold on, load with one end when pressure is applied to the other. Sorry about that. So it's like a crowbar, a bar, or a jimmy. So I would pretty much go with this. But since we're here, we've kind of learned the definition of simple machines and other machines to screw the wheel in the wedge. I also took the liberty of just going just a step further, because this is what we do at Kino Training Systems. We train and educate. There are different types of levers. In our case, this is our lever, and um, I have more mechanical comprehension videos on YouTube that you can look at. But whenever we have a lever, there's going to be a load, a fulcrum, and a place where effort is applied. Um, and here we have examples. So this is the first class lever. All right. So we have a load, which is our nail being in there, and it's resisting us pulling it. So the force would be applied downward. The floor would be the fulcrum, kind of like that seesaw type deal. And that's what this is. This is kind of like a seesaw type deal. We have a load on one end, we have a load on the other one, and then we have the little seesaw or, or fulcrum, which is basically the tipping point. Uh, or no, that would be you call it a pivot point, not a tipping point. So that is the first class. So fulcrum in the middle, two loads, or the load, two loads are efforts, uh, well, two loads, or a load and effort placed on the outside. All right. Um, pliers are also um, a uh, first class lever. Second class. Um, is where the tipping point or pivot point is on one end and then you have uh, or fulcrum or pivot and then we have the load being applied downward which will be the cork inside the bottle and then us raising after we screws the cork in an upward motion so load and effort resist each other. The difference between the second and the third is that the fulcrum's still on the end, but the load and the uh, the load and the effort being applied uh, kind of uh, move move positions. So second class effort is on the outside. On the third class load is on the outside. So the second and third class levers, and then um, this is kind of like the seesaw for the first. So remember, first class load and effort on the outside of the fulcrum. On the second and the third, the fulcrum is on one end, but on the second, the load is on the inside. On the third, the load is on the outside. And here's some a wheelbarrow is uh, one. The nutcracker is another example of a second class. Third class lever or lever is your arm when you pick something up. And then uh, ice tongs or the sugar sugar tongs when you're uh, adding cubes of sugar to your tea or coffee. So um, I know that was a, a lot, but I wanted to give you guys the full spectrum of some of the things that you need to have a uh, working knowledge of in order to really, really do well in the test. Um, so that's our free ASVAB video. One-on-one -on -one tutoring is available via Skype. I thank you guys for watching. This is Keno Thomas with Keno Training System. Sorry, I get tongue-tied like that sometimes like to thank you for watching this video. Please like and hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.